Sea turtles are found in almost every ocean throughout the world and travel across the vast oceans in search of food. There are seven main species of sea turtles, green, hawksbill, leatherback, loggerhead, olive ridley, kemp's ridley, and the Australian flatback. Every single one of these species is in danger of extinction. They spend almost their entire lives at sea, except for when the females go on to shore to lay eggs. The mother digs a shallow hole in the sand and lays her eggs, never knowing if they will live. She then returns to the ocean, leaving her eggs in Mother Nature's hands. Once the eggs hatch, their instinct will guide them towards the sea and their life commences. Sadly, these beautiful creatures face many dangers while in the sea. Coastal development can destroy important nesting sites. For example, artificial light from houses and other buildings discourage the female sea turtles from nesting. They prefer dark, quiet beaches which are becoming increasingly hard to find. Hundreds of thousands of sea turtles, whales, and other marine mammals die each year from ocean pollution and ingestion or entanglement in marine debris. Pollution like plastic bags are often mistaken for food, such as jellyfish, and ingested, which blocks their intestines and can potentially kill them. In some countries, they are hunted for their meat and shells while their eggs are eaten. This occurs primarily in Asia and Central America. Hunters will wait for the female to lay her eggs on the shore, kill her, and take her eggs for consumption. The leading cause in the death of sea turtles is entanglement in fishing gear. Sea turtles are attracted to the bait and get caught on the hooks or become entangled in the lines and drown. Mr. Brad Nahill, the director and co-founder of Sea Turtles, has been promoting a petition by the Sea Turtle Restoration Project whose goal is to protect the loggerheads of Baja from entanglement. Scientists estimate that more than 2,000 loggerheads have been killed last year alone as a cause of fishing nets in their nesting grounds. This petition is being promoted through Facebook, Twitter, email, and more. Visit action.seaturtles.org for more information. Some may say that the issue of sea turtle endangerment is not involved with the government or political at all. The truth, truth is that there are actually many acts and organizations that are created in order to protect the endangered species. A major act that was put in effect to protect endangered animals is the Endangered Species Act, or ESA. This act was enacted in 1973, having sea turtles as one of the protected animals. Specifically, the ESA lists hawksbill, leatherback, Kemp's Ridley, and green turtles as endangered, and the loggerhead turtles as threatened. The ESA makes it illegal to import, sell, or transport sea turtles, or sea turtle products, as well as making it illegal to harass, harm, or kill any sea turtles. The National Wildlife Federation, or NWF, also has become involved in protecting the turtles. This organization founded a national coalition teaming with wildlife that has joined over 6,000 groups together to support state wildlife grant programs which give funding to state wildlife action plans. These plans help in protecting endangered species. In many states that have been known for nesting grounds for sea turtles, these action plans include laws and regulations that have been put in place to protect the turtles. In many cases, the use of artificial light, known, at, known to inhibit females from nesting, has been eliminated or controlled around the beaches. The efforts by the ESA and national or local organizations cause many U.S. citizens to become aware and responsible for the endangered species in their states. This is an organization called NOAA that has a Habitat Conservation Restoration Center that gives information about the different habitats around the world and the work that is being done in these different areas. Youths may help and volunteer at sea turtle hatcheries by collecting eggs, digging nests, and helping measure and release hatchlings. You can visit this website to find additional information about local hatcheries and what opportunities are in your area. Here is a list of sea turtle conservation organizations that have volunteer programs. There are many adoption centers in which an animal from endangered species may be adopted. There are organizations such as this one which offer many different choices of endangered species up for adoption. Another way to get involved is simply to speak up. Write letters to send to local newspapers to raise awareness in your community about spe endangered species. You could also even write letters to elected officials about the endangerment. Even social networks such as Facebook, Care2, and Twitter have pages for saving turtles. Even small changes and choices you make in daily life can have an impact on endangered species. You can reduce the amount of plastic waste produced by you and your family. Remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And filling up and reusing your water bottle is a good way to save. Reduce the amount of chemicals used as well because they can be harmful to the environment. 
Chemicals such as insecticides, fertilizers, paints, and oils can easily be washed straight into the ocean, harming the sea turtles. Biodegradable products are best used, and toxic chemicals should be avoided, whether it be for the health of the environment or for yourself.